Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor David Augustine of Coventry. Do you know that God sees your faithful and loving work and he is happy for it? He is glad for it. We often want to overlook our success or we are discouraged by difficult circumstances. And those things, those hard things may make us overlook or not see or ignore the good and faithful work that we have done, the work that really is good. There are many things that may stop us from seeing success, whether it's things didn't turn out perfectly exactly as we wanted, that they didn't go exactly as planned and hard circumstances changed the outcome, or simply because we may feel used to deflecting compliments. We don't want to seem prideful or arrogant even when someone's genuinely complimenting us or saying congratulations on a job well done, but God sees our work and affirms and congratulates. We see this in how Paul writes to the Thessalonians in chapter 3 of 1 Thessalonians. Paul is writing this letter to the Thessalonians, and he has been wanting to go see them because he loves them and, and cares about them. He planted the church there, and a lot of them came to faith when he did that. And he wants to check in. He wants to see how they're doing. Are they continuing to believe in Jesus? Are they living faithfully? But he can't go there himself. So he sent Timothy to go check in on them. And so Timothy brings back this report about them. And we hear this about Timothy's report in chapter 3, verse 6, saying, But now that Timothy has come to us from you and has brought us the good news of your faith and love. Timothy saying, well done. Paul saying, well done. He's encouraged by them. He's encouraged by their faith in Jesus that they have continued to be faithful despite being in a place, a time where being a Christian in this first century context was deeply unpopular. Believing in only one God in that time period was considered atheism that they would only believe in one God. It was incredibly unpopular. So Paul is saying, well done for being faithful, for continuing to believe. Paul encourages them. So too does he encourage them for continuing to be loving, that despite those around them not being loving towards them, that they have continued to love one another and love the people around them, continuing to show Christian, sacrificial, kind love. Again, Paul says, well done. He doesn't deflect and say, try better next time. He's not encouraging them to look down on themselves. But rather, Paul recognizes the faithfulness of their belief and the faithfulness of their love and says, well done. So too, when you continue to believe, when you continue to put your faith in Jesus, so too, when you love the neighbor, love the person at work who's difficult to love, love the person who is near you, so too does God say, well done, good and faithful servant. He encourages us, even though we may want to deflect about our success or we think we didn't do enough, know that God sees your faithfulness, sees as you try to live out that Christian life and says, well done, good and faithful servant. You've been listening to Pastor David Augustine of Coventry, and this has been Bread of Life a program to encourage you from God's Word.